Good morning or good afternoon, Avery. This is Grandpa Huck talking to you from the schoolhouse. Come on inside here. This is our first introduction to our classes that I have. I've got 20 lectures ready to go, one at a time. Each one is going to be about uh, 30 minutes, uh, maybe 35 or so. Uh, and they cover a whole bunch of different subjects. But we're going to start with steam engines and engines and things of that nature, first of all. This is not lecture number one. This is just the introduction. Uh, and then, uh, after the lecture, I will also send you a test. Hmm. Not a difficult one, but one that you have to complete. And then maybe we'll discuss that on uh, FaceTime or something to see how it goes. And on those little tests, five or ten minutes or so, uh, you can ask anybody for help. Um, Daniel, your mom, Lucy, Will. Some of the questions you may have to call Brian or Eric or Donna or Sammy. So we'll uh, we'll get started now. The first one. Uh, this is just an introduction on how we're uh, we're going to work. This is the steam engine. This is the first thing in the first lecture. This is what the the picture will be like. Uh, and you can see on this particular picture, I've got a blue arrow up in the left-hand corner. Um, and that is um, the fire, either coal or wood. The water is in the tank in the middle. And the red arrows on the right-hand side are where the cylinders are, where the steam goes into the cylinder, pushes the cylinder back and forth, moves those wheels along, and moves that, uh, moves that train along. So we will discuss those things and we'll discuss other pieces uh, that go along with those. For instance, let me show you another th thing that we'll look at here. This is a steam plant. You can see the uh, on the left hand side is where the coal is. It goes into a furnace, heats the water again, very similar to what the engine did. Uh, and then turns these giant turbines where I have the big arrow on the inside and that runs a generator which produces electricity. This is exactly the same as the power plant that uh, is in existence here in, uh, in Portsmouth. That's the way it makes all the electricity uh, for New Hampshire. So uh, we'll continue to discuss uh, things such as uh, those uh, natures. And then as we go along these discussions, we'll add on other things that we may want to look at uh, uh, as well. Uh, for instance, here is a, um, a ste another steam system uh, that is in use. Steam comes into the right-hand tie, goes through a particular turbines, runs a generator, and then goes out the other side. Or we may even look at something like this, which is a water system. This is what is at most of the dams in the country. The uh, water comes through the dam. You can see in the upper left-hand corner where my red arrow is, goes down a, bit, a slew, down to the bottom where the uh, red, uh, where the um, blue arrow is, and turns a turbine as well. So we'll discuss all those different uh, things, and we'll expand it into other other places that we can go, and then. What we'll do is we'll even uh, discuss something uh, like this. This is a uh, internal combustion engine, which means the fire is inside the engine with gasoline or diesel fuel or something like that. In fact, I just sent you a model to build, a very easy model, but it's going to take some time. I know you can do it because you did that uh, music system that we had. This is less complicated than that. And when you build it, you'll be able to move the cylinders up and down, see the spark plugs and things of this nature to, to work. So these are some of the areas that we're going to explore through, uh, through all of our, uh, our upcoming courses. Uh, let me show you what, what the course is going to look like here. This is a listing of the courses. I know it's a little small there, so I'm going to send this uh, to you uh, on email so you can look at it and study it and see what's coming along. The first one, first lecture, is going to be transportation systems. We're going to talk about the history and the states of matter and, and pressure. Oh, there goes the clock. And then we're going to talk about machines, simple machines, 
uh, and work and energy and maybe even introduce a rocket. And from there to electric and magnets and batteries and circuits and generators and things like that and what makes the electricity in your house and where it comes from. Uh, and then we get into sound and light, lecture six and seven. We're going to talk about hearing and music and electromagnetic spectrum from the sun and color and you know about Roy G. Biv, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. That comes from the sun and, and I'll explain why that is. And after that we'll do the earth, uh, structures and earthquakes and volcanoes and rocks and glaciers and, and then we move on to weather. And we'll talk about weather and the atmosphere and things of this nature. It should be very, very, very exciting, I hope. Here's the second group of them. Um, this is a little further. We'll talk about clouds and space and the solar system. And, uh, and then in lectures uh, 14, 15, and 16, we're going to talk about living things, viruses, mm -mm. bacteria. Uh, we're going to talk about jellyfish and worms and bees and fish and amphibians and good stuff like that. It should be very, very interesting, I hope. And I need you to tell me every once in a while if it's not very interesting or also you can tell me other things you want to uh, discuss. And the last couple lectures we're going to talk about cells and breathing and blood circulation and, and a couple of things like that. Um, uh, and then and then we're going to get on to, right at the end there, we're going to talk about people and the planets and how all this comes together. And we're going to talk about food chains and the biosphere that we live in and how everything operates with uh, animals and things of that nature. We have some really prime examples right here in this yard this morning, for instance, that uh, fox, uh, fox captured a squirrel yesterday and almost got a bird today. Uh, and how they all fit, uh, fit together. Now, I need you to do a couple of things. I need you, and this is your homework for this one. I need you to work with your mom and set up a time, because you're going to have to use her laptop. Set up a time that's convenient with her for you and Lucy to sit down and go through the lecture. As I said, it's going to be only about 30 minutes. And you'll be able to just study it and look at it. You don't have to take any notes or whatever. And then at the end, there'll be a little test, a simple one. And you two and others, if possible, can, can work that out and send that back to me via FaceTime, I believe. Uh, but your homework for today is to check with your mom and get a schedule when you can do these. And as I said, there's about 20 of them. So if you pick every other day, perhaps, something like that, maybe 2 o'clock in the afternoon or whatever's convenient for you and your mom, and go through all these. These are on YouTube, and you already know that because you're listening to me on this one. It's on YouTube on Grandpa's uh, Schoolhouse. So, look forward to your doing all that. Now, oh, I just noticed, let me check over here, that there's someone that uh, in the, is getting a little bored with our lecture. So, it looks like it might be time to, to let this one go for the day, and we'll... Uh, get the first lecture set up for the next couple of days. You let me know when you're ready to go. And uh, uh, let me know what times you picked out so to make sure that I've got the lecture in order. As I said, the next lecture coming up is lecture number one, uh, which is going to be transportation systems. We're going to talk about the history from starting from mankind starting to walk and then carry and then how they got a wheel and and then how two wheels together with an axle and made a cart and then we're going to get into uh, the states of matter because that's very important and you know about some of that stuff and then we get into pressure and that leads to steam and a steam engine oh, I just saw somebody walking behind me so it's probably time for me to go you have a great day and this is Grandpa signing off from the the schoolhouse. Have a good day. Bye. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot that I would show up. You're still recording, honey. Yes, that's Nona that's talking there right now, and she's back. See you later, honey.